Uh, is this entirely new, the private police thing? Yes and no. It's been around for a while, but it's very much more coming to the fore now, um, filling the gap left by uh, the failures of the public provision of policing service, um, following years and years and years of cuts to budgets, of cuts to staff, some of which have been replaced, but not all, uh, and the general sort of degrading of the police service publicly, mm. uh, leaves a gap and into that gap will come private provision uh, it has been growing tmi uh, started off um doing copyright infringement sort of things the gray market and all the rest of it uh, and did that with some success and there were private prosecutions uh, launched there um, we have private prosecutions in a number of areas uh, we've seen it recently the post office although that's another public body or at least it was another public body yeah. When the power was given to them, they, they pursued their own prosecutions. The RSPCA have been talked about in that context as well. Um, and so the, the idea of a private prosecution, private criminal prosecution, isn't new. What is new is the sort of uh, going towards the mass market of failed police work. Mm -hmm. These other things have been outside normal police work, perhaps. Uh, whereas burglary is very firmly and squarely right in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, true. What do you think would be behind, um, and there is always a story, I know that the headlines are you know, often quite damning, and as I think you know, Peter, I've always been very defensive of policing in this country. I think some of those headlines are incredibly misleading. Nobody's going to defend the bad guys. We understand that. I don't know a single copper that would stand up for a, a bad copper in that respect. Nobody wants to see that. But broadly speaking, on balance, I think the police have had a bit of a torrid time, particularly the Met, um, and, and almost singled out with no context. And we can talk about that forever. But what would have been behind, do you sense, a decision to not pursue somebody who the, the shop had, you know, it's not an insignificant theft, 500 quid's worth of M&S steaks and 20 bottles of Prosecco, even if they were the, you know, 20 quid a piece maybe. So it's a significant, uh, significant theft. And the, the David Hansen, who had a massive history of burglary, the shop had all the details, but the Met said uh, nothing to see here or we can't investigate. What, how would a police force get to that decision? I don't know. To be honest, uh, it's plainly a failure of the police service. There is no way that something like that should ever be screened out. Yeah. Now, either the people making that decision have not had all the facts uh, because the initial report has had failures in it, uh, or things have come to light afterwards and have not been tied up with the original report, or it's just an incompetent decision at some point. Yeah. But there is no way in a million years that this should not have been investigated Agreed. and pursued prosecuted by the police. Of course, what makes this different, as you rightly said, Peter, lots of private prosecutions happen, but I think this is the first time somebody's been jailed under a private prosecution, certainly for burglary, and that's what marks this out a little bit. Um, some are sensing this is the shape of things to come. I fear it might be. Um, that raises all sorts of issues. Um, who provides oversight of the private companies doing this? who sets the ethical standards and, and monitors the ethical standards of those companies uh, and compliance with the law, such as it is. Um, and, and those private companies, they don't have all the powers that the police have anyway. They can't go around uh, in most circumstances. There are some powers to get civil yeah. law warrants, but normally they wouldn't have the power to kick the door in, so arrest somebody and interview them under caution. So there are things that can be done that fill those gaps to a certain extent, but they haven't yeah. got all the powers. But we shouldn't be going down that road. It is not a good road to go down. Uh, if you look to failed states, um, you know, the likes of Central and, and South America, uh, kidnaps are dealt with by private investigators yeah. because of the failure on the part of state services. Yeah. Do we really want to head in that direction? I don't think so. That's a fair point. Peter, thank you. Peter Kirkham, former Detective Chief Inspector over there.